What's up guys? Welcome back. Today I'm sharing my evening PM skincare routine. I just filmed the morning version of this and now we're on to evening. I wanted to give you guys a part two really quick. It is evening time and that is technically our ugly marination time which means we can use more products which means we can go to bed looking scary and wake up gorgeous. Unless, unless you're lucky but I'm not lucky. I gotta, gotta go to bed ugly. And with that, I put on layers and layers of skincare, and I overall think I have good skin. Um, I mean, I'm young, you know, time will tell if I'm aging properly, but I want to share my skincare routine, and if there's anything I know how to do that is research and obsess over getting the best version of anything. So that is why I think you should trust my opinion on skincare, um, even though I'm young. Let's get into what I've been using every single night. I try to keep it not too over the top because, you know, if it's way too many steps, I, I know I'm not going to get that done. So I'm trying to keep it simple and effective. Now, I always try to layer lightest to darkest or lightest to heaviest as far as creams and serums go. Um, and with that, that means I'm starting with, well, this is technically not skincare, but I this is in my nighttime skincare. So this is Latisse. I use this lash serum to grow long lashes. I feel like my lashes are pretty long. Um, I wanted to include that because it's kind of a skincare and it, it keeps me beautiful. So I've been using Latisse. Next, this is, and I, I, I know you've heard about it. This is the Tretinoin cream, okay? The retinoid. Any form of retinol will be helpful for anti-aging and wrinkles, but I took it upon myself to get a prescription for the hardcore stuff. So that's what I did. I got this from Nurks, I believe. It's like they normally do birth control, but I had them do a Tret subscription for me or prescription. <laughs> um, do it however you wish, but that's how I got mine. And then I know a lot of like brands sell their own, like a lighter version of it, like not a true retinoid, but they're retinols. So try that maybe first because caution here is that these will make your skin very sensitive if you don't use them properly. I have the 0.025% and then also the 0.1%. The difference between these is insane. Um, I'm currently using the 0.025 but I have this one just to try it. I don't know if I'd ever see a reason to go to the 0.1 but my skin's still adjusting to this one so what I do is I take about a pea-sized amount every night I shouldn't say every night. I would say a couple times a week, okay? If you're new to Tret, do not do it every night. You're going to like peel off your skin and be so dry and regret it. I take like a little pea size amount, dot it all over my face and neck. That's all you need. I spread it on and I'm good to go. Then I kind of let that dry and then I move in with my other products. But this, if you're not careful, just don't overdo it. Like you got to be really careful. I've definitely made that mistake because I, I got too happy with the serum and put too much and it was over for me. Using it properly will result in beautiful, amazing skin. One thing I will say is that when I apply it, I definitely, the first like, I don't know, maybe month, two months I've used it, I had an acne purge. I'm like still a little bit, if you can see it, having an acne purge it is prescribed to people a lot of times for acne specifically because it's like shedding your skin and making your acne come out. So you're going to have that that initial purge. And don't be alarmed. That's just normal. But if you continue to use it, it will go away. Um, so maybe don't use this for the first time like near a big event, you know. Only try. Um, I'm still trying to get rid of a little acne spot right on my cheek area. It's very stubborn, but I trust the tread and I know it's going to make it go away. Okay, my camera card was full so I had to stop for a second. Where was I? Okay, Tret, step one. Then I get into my eye cream. If you saw my morning skincare routine, I use the same one day and night. I don't care that it's really thick. I use it both times. This is the Bobbi Brown Extra Repair Eye Cream. Um, it's really, really thick. It's also kind of expensive. So if you are, I don't know, you know, I wouldn't say like this is a necessity. But it, it does work, okay? And it's the DNA repair enzymes in it that are just beautiful. I layer this on extra thick at night because I want like beautiful glowing under eyes when I wake up. So love that. Last but not least, I have to cover my body and face in oil at nighttime. Like I just have to. And I use this in the morning too. But at night, I really kick it up a notch. I'm applying several layers of this stuff. It's the Fortifying Oil Black Seed Rosehip and Castor Oil. 
like I said before, this is like nature's Botox in a bottle. You must have it. And it's also light enough to where it's not like clogging your skin and like making it feel so thick. But I layer this up at night, okay? I am going to bed looking like, I don't even know, a sausage, a glazed donut. Like I am, I'm covered in this stuff. Yeah, that is the conclusion of my nighttime skincare routine. I'm actually surprised this is a little bit more low maintenance than the other stuff I do. So <laughs> you guys need to appreciate me. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll try to remember to link everything down below. If not, let me know. But thanks for watching um, and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.